So there's this mix of public, private, and philanthropic dollars uh, supporting entrepreneurs like myself uh, to be successful. For example, this location that we just opened, we raised about $20,000 from the city of Detroit through a program called Motor City Match. The hotel gave us some tenant improvement dollars. So we basically didn't spend any money to get this location open. Um, and so it's not only cash, it's in the fact that we don't take cash. It didn't cost us any money to get this open. It didn't cost any cash. So Detroit City is 85% black. And there's a lot of frustration around the resurgence of the city. Uh, and that's because some of us feel like opportunities are going to groups that don't represent this city. We almost feel like we have to bend a bit to what's happening here, right? It's called the new Detroit versus the old Detroit. Now I'm black, but I'll be considered new Detroit. I was here when I was six years old, seven years old, left and came back to go to college, started a barbershop, thousands of barbershop on six mile, seven mile, you know, eight mile road. But we're a barbershop that's doing things a little bit differently. And there is some frustration with that. Our barbershop is a multi-textural, multicultural barbershop, you know. But, you know, I think it's a part of the game. I think it's about a part of the evolution. And I think that most of us are starting to understand, right, most of us in that 85 percentile, I think we're starting to understand that, you know, we have to play the game. We got to get involved. It's an opportunity for all of us. It's grant dollars. It's, it's, it's debt available specifically for us. And it's just a matter of going to get it. And I've learned how to go get it. I've learned how to open up barbershops for free. And I'm extending that information. I'm sharing that information with my team first and then my friends outside of that. And we're learning how to play this game, how to get these dollars to open up our own businesses, our coffee shops, whatever it is that we want to do. Uh, it's real estate here, it's opportunities here. I think the whole world is going away from labor and being devoured by technology. I think that's one of the reasons why we moved early and decided to partner with Squire because it allows us to kind of adapt that reality, adopt that reality rather. I find inspiration in growing our brand through just small wins, right? Every time I think that we're like on the wrong track or something's not happening fast enough, we get another tiny win. And that might be in the form of a mentor reaching out to us through email saying like, I see what you're doing, this is dope. Or it might be through an opportunity to guest lecture at Harvard Business School, which I've been able to do. Or Stanford, whether it's Steve Blank inviting me out there to you know, San Fran or, you know, a friend invited me to guest lecture at Harvard Business School. Those type of wins are inspiring to me because it, it kind of reaffirms what we're doing is right, that we're on the right track. In a city like New York, in a city like D.C., in a city like San Francisco, Los Angeles, California, it's very difficult to make an impact you know, to kind of have nothing and build something. But in the city, uh, in the city of Detroit, it's not easy, but the barrier to entry is a lot lower to create impact, right? To have nothing and become something uh, immediately. And that's what's happening through the social club. What do I want to get better at? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a tough question. In life and in business, I want to be a better leader. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that looks like, like what becoming a better leader looks like. Is it in business? Do I need to go back and get my MBA? And I don't know. I know what I need to do, right? That's become a better leader. How to do that? It's a lot of different options. MBA might not be the solution. Meditation might not be the solution. Counseling with my wife might not be the solution. You know, I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. If 85% of Detroit is black and the public school system is not elite, and if we, if we wanna have future engineers, not just mechanical, but software engineers, so on and so forth, to participate 
and the success of Ford Motor Company and other organizations that are indicative of the future of Detroit and industry, we have to educate these babies. We have to educate these kids um, because we don't want them to get left behind. And that is what we're fighting against now, you know? And uh, I'm trying to do it with informal education to inspire these kids through a barbershop, but we just got two locations, one that's 1,500 square feet, one is 200 square feet. Not many kids can fit inside of a 200 square feet barbershop. So we're trying to record those barbers, shop conversations and distribute that content, you know? Uh, and I think that's what's next for us, right? Like starting to create content that allows more people to engage with these conversations and with our brand. You know, we have some really big opportunities, you know, be it with Facebook or other organizations that I can't really talk about right now, but we're trying to do our part in empowering our community uh, to be their best selves. That's what we're really trying to do here. Our mission at the Social Club is to help people live better lives through better groups.